Hello everyone, this is Chris with MIT. Today I'm gonna show you the brand new item, Let's Bounce. What exactly is it about? We see Sarah's energy storage system cooling. The cooling capacity is from 7.5 to 25 kW. It can be used in base stations, equipment containers, energy storage containers, small data rooms, and power prefabricated cabinets. And it has the characteristics of cell temperature control, hydrogen pressure design with the fan, and computer installation. What is the energy storage system cooling? Why do I need it? We see Sarah's energy storage system cooling is an efficient temperature control that designed and developed specifically by regulating and controlling the battery temperature, the safety and stability of battery operation has been enhanced. There are two types, the indoor type and outdoor type. Now let's take a look at the 12.5 kW indoor model and the 7.5 kW outdoor model. The system features IP55 protection level, which has high corrosion resistance. The indoor models support wall mounted and floor standing installation for 12.5 kilowatts. Its dimension is 800 by 650 by 1800 millimeter. It uses upflow air supply as standard and can be customized to top front as well. The return air method is down front. The 7.5 kilowatts outdoor model. Its dimension is 700 by 550 by 1800 millimeter. The air supply is top front and the return air method is in front. Open the door, as you can see, it has integrated all the components here. The top parts are the evaporator EC fan and PTC heater, which heats up quickly and evenly. This fan can steplessly adjust the speed. The front part and back one is the evaporator and condenser, both equipped with inner threaded copper pipe and large hydrophilic window aluminum foil design, which make it more adequate for heat exchange. The bottom parts are the condenser fan and compressor, both of them are specially designed with water trays, which can prevent rainwater from infiltrating into the unit from the outside of the room. The 7.5 kilowatts outdoor model, its internal structure is similar to the indoor type. Worth mentioning that the outdoor model has a unique condensate tube direct discharge design, which can discharge evaporator condensate directly to the condenser fins. The whole series is equipped with 7-inch intelligent display after power on. The screen displays the system entering into the home page. Touch the Run Para icon. It contains three levels of sub-menus, which are Sensor Status, Equipment Status, and Protection Status. Under the Sensor Status menu, user can view operating parameters. Under the Device Status menu, user can view the Equipment Switch Status, Compressor Speed, and fan speed. Under the protection status menu, user can view the overload signal status of the indoor fan and electric heater. Touch the T and H C U P B icon. There are two sub-menus under the data management menu, namely temperature and humidity curve and historical data. Touch the alarm icon. There are two sub-menus, namely current alarms and history alarms. Touch the settings icon. It contains two levels of sub-menus open to users, user settings, and system functions. Enter password to enter the user settings menu. Click general set menu to set the cooling setting value, heating setting value, high temperature alarm value, and low temperature alarm value. Click communication set menu to set the communication address and baud rate. Click group set menu to set parameters related to networking functions. Click Auto Switch menu. This menu enables users to have the equipment power on or off at a specified time on a specified date. Click Reset Code menu can change the password to access the user settings menu as required. Touch the System Info icon. Users can check the language, time, and controller version. After an exciting moment with you, our introduction is gonna end. Should you have more questions or would like to know more about us, please leave a message to Network Power Sales at www.mvt.com or visit our website www.mvt-network.com. Thank you for watching.